Hi, I'm Mike Vrobel from DadCooksDinner.com, and this is how to make Instant Pot Spare Ribs. First, we're going to make a homemade barbecue rub and barbecue sauce. If you have a favorite store-bought rub and sauce, you can use them instead. To make my homemade rub, I mix up paprika and black pepper, chili powder and brown sugar, garlic powder and onion powder, and some fine sea salt. I mix these together with the best tool for the job, my fingers. They help me find and break up any clumps of brown sugar while I'm mixing. Next, let's mix up the barbecue sauce. I like to use an adjustable liquid measurer for making my barbecue sauce. It makes it easy to measure the liquid ingredients. I use ketchup and brown sugar. Move it up another ounce. Apple cider. Dijon mustard and soy sauce. Whisk them all together until they're smooth. And now, let's work on the meat. This is a whole rack of spare ribs. This is a rack of St. Louis cut ribs. They're also spare ribs, but the rib tips and the brisket flat have been trimmed away. Both work great in this recipe. The spare ribs have more meat, but they also have the chewy rib tips that you have to eat around. Spare ribs are cut from the bottom part of the rib cage, below the baby back ribs, which are in the back. This is the meaty side of the ribs, and this is the bone side of the ribs. So on the bone side, we have the membrane. This is connective tissue that does not break down no matter how long you cook it, so it winds up tough and chewy. Removing the membrane is a little bit of work. You need a butter knife and a paper towel. Move in about two bones from the edge of the rack and work the tip of the butter knife along the back of one of the bones and underneath the membrane. Start levering it up and work your way across that one rib until it is loose all the way across the rack. Then, using the paper towels to help you grip, pull firmly but slowly and lift the membrane away from the ribs. This is an interesting combination of being careful and being forceful. You don't want to rip the membrane, but you also need to pull pretty hard to get it loose. Now, if the membrane does rip, that's okay. Just move a bone or two in, work your butter knife under it again, and keep pulling. Repeat until the membrane is removed from the back of the ribs. Now, to help the ribs fit in the pressure cooker, I'm gonna cut them into four pieces. Since there are 13 bones in a rack, that means I cut between every third bone. One piece will have four bones, I save that one for me. Sprinkle the rub on the ribs, concentrating on the meaty side. The bony side doesn't need as much rub. Rub is a bit of a misnaming. You do not want to rub this onto the pork ribs, or else you will get it all over your hands and not on the rib. What you want to do is sprinkle it on and then pat it gently to make sure it sticks to the rib. Now, let's get the pressure cooker ready. Pour a cup of water into the pot and add a tablespoon of liquid smoke. I'm not putting a lot of liquid smoke in. I don't want to overpower the ribs or give them a really smoky taste, but it adds a nice little undercurrent of flavor that makes the ribs taste better. I put a rack in my pot. I'm using this fancy silicon rack, but your pressure cooker came with a rack. You can use that one. It works just fine. Put the ribs in the pressure cooker, keeping them loose. You want room for the steam heat to get around all of the ribs. Lock the lid and set the Instant Pot to cook at high pressure for 30 minutes. We'll then let the pressure come down naturally, which will take about another 15 minutes after that. So, I will see you in about 45 minutes. Our cooking time is over and the ribs are ready. Gently lift them out of the pot. They're very tender. And I set them on a rimmed baking sheet and brush them with the sauce. Now, you can serve them like this and they'll be very good, but I'd like to be a little extra. I take the sheet pan over and run it under my broiler, set to high, for just long enough for the sauce to start to bubble and turn a little brown around the edges. This helps thicken up the sauce and add an extra layer of flavor. How long to broil the ribs? It depends. Broiler temperatures are all over the place. Mine takes about five minutes and the ribs are where I want them. Brush on another layer of sauce and they're ready to serve. In my family, this is four servings, but 
If I want to serve more people or less hearty eaters, I cut these ribs between the bones to make single rib servings. So, there you have it. A platter of Instant Pot barbecue ribs. This has been Mike Vrobel. Thanks for watching. Do 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 do